I Saw the TV Glow is a brand new 2024 film directed by Jane Schoenbrunn, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is the second film by Jane Schoenbrunn. She directed the film We Are All We Are All Going to the World's Fair, which is one of the most interesting films that I've seen in the last year or so. Um, it was released by Vinegar Syndrome, actually, and I do... If it was Vinegar Syndrome, it might have been one of their partner labels. Anyways, it's a very interesting, um, low-budget piece of cinema that's very unique and uh, definitely took me aback and definitely felt different than a lot of things that I've ever seen. So when I heard that this film was being directed by the same director, it definitely piqued my interest and I really wanted to check this thing out. So this was definitely one that I was looking very much forward to this year and I finally got a ch chance to watch it. Actually, I watched it for the second time now because I had watched it before and I already talked about this in a previous video that I took like two months off YouTube and things got busy and I wasn't able to get to a bunch of films. So there's a few films that I have to rewatch to refresh my memory and this is one of them. So technically I watched this twice and um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, I don't know how I feel in comparison to We Are All Going to the World's Fair because that one blew me away a lot. Although it's a much like it's a, it's a much lower budget and it's a much smaller film. It's a much smaller scale film. It it feels more like it feels more like a student film, even though it's not a student film. Uh, it just feels smaller. It feels smaller scale kind of thing, and I think I like that better. This just it feels kind of the same style, but much bigger and much broader and much you know on a higher scale kind of thing. And uh, there's elements to this film that I'll talk about first that I absolutely love. The soundtrack, I gotta get that out of the way. The indie soundtrack in this film is absolutely amazing. There's even moments in this film where it'll stop to kind of um, show a performance and there's scenes of performances live and I really like that. And um, there's just this like, like synth wave, new wave type music. If anybody's ever heard like churches, um, but much, much more scaled down, much more on like an indie level. Um, I don't like, I, I, I don't know the genres of the music that, that is used in this film, but they're really, really good. And it's got that new wave synth style that I really like. Um, the cinematography is absolutely stunning. It was in, we are all going to the world's fair as well, but in this one, it carries over. There's a lot of still shots that kind of, um, pen like following a character where the character is like walking center screen and always center screen and you can see just like the the backgrounds and the visuals and the colors are, are fantastic there's a lot of neon in this film everything is shot really good um there's just an attention to detail with the cinematography that i love this is a style over substance film and i think that i preferred the style in this film and i usually do I love style over substance films because I love to appreciate the style of it. And I think with this one, I liked the style more this, than the substance personally. Um, I also don't think I'm just the, the target audience for this film. You can definitely tell that this is a personal project for Jane and purely a passion project, hands down. Both performances from both actors are really good. I think they both did a phenomenal job in the film. Basically what we have going on is we have these two high school characters who they meet actually when they're younger, they meet in like elementary school and they bond over this TV show called The Pink Opaque and this plays with nostalgia in such a great way. That's another thing that I love about this film. The way that this, that this film um, talks about nostalgia and um, describes nostalgia and, and what it is and how it affects people and how people carry it through their entire lives is beautiful and I really like that. So. These kids are bonding over this show, and uh, the, the boy um, likes to go over to the girl's house to watch the show, but eventually his parents don't let him, so she starts to record the show on tapes to show him, like, give to him so he can watch later on and whatnot. And um, they just really fall in love with the show, and then they grow up together, and eventually... Um, she disappears for some reason and she disappears for like six years and then the show gets cancelled and he kind of goes into this like turmoil kind of thing and later on throughout the film they meet up again and then she starts telling him that like how real life blends into like 
the show and, and can you tell the difference and, and what, what is, what's realities kind of thing. Um, obviously this is a, a very strong metaphor when it comes to like gender dysphoria, personal identities, personal sexualities, who you are kind of thing. Um, you know, feeling like you don't know who you are, like you're in the wrong body kind of thing. I'll admit I'm not an expert on any of that kind of stuff. Again, I don't, I'm not, I'm definitely not the target audience for this film, but I can definitely see what they were going for and I can understand. And I like the, the way the film talked about the subject and kind of gave me a perspective of it that was very well told kind of thing and I really appreciate that. But the biggest takeaway from this film that I loved was the way it played with nostalgia and the way it talked about nostalgia and, and the visuals themselves. There's a lot of moments that talk about being buried alive basically and there's a lot of moments that talk about being buried underground and, and like stuck in boxes kind of thing which again is a, is a big metaphor and I know what they're going for like when it this film deals with like the sense of being trapped a lot. I liked that pers perspective and description that it gave and, and the way it used that metaphor to kind of explain what it's like to, you know, be stuck in the wrong body or not feel like you're living authentically the way you, f you feel you want to kind of thing, but not know how. It's kind of hard for me to put into words. I know what this film was going for. It's just hard for me to like, describe it, especially staying away from spoilers too, because there's a lot that happens in this film. Um, there are some elements that really didn't work, that didn't work for me personally. One thing that this film does a lot is breaks the fourth wall in certain moments, and there's moments of just spoken word kind of thing, and there's a lot of monologues that the, the characters will speak to the audience. They'll look at the camera and literally start talking to the audience. And uh, I don't really know how I feel about that because every time it happened, it didn't flow for me. It kind of, it took me out of the film instead of keeping me in the story. And it just felt a little bit unnecessary in my personal opinion. Um, everybody's going to feel differently about that style choice and that's totally cool. Um, but it's just, I don't know, it was one thing that I would probably do differently if I was behind the camera, but, or if I was in the director's chair, I should say, but uh, who am I to say? Um, it was an interesting artistic choice, but it's not something I would do myself. Um, everything about this film is nostalgic, from the TV show to the opening of the movie where they're playing with that parachute that everybody played with in kindergarten and elementary school, with like everybody's underneath the parachute and just brought back so many memories and so much nostalgia. This film feels like a small town. There's a scene that takes place in a football field between the two characters and it's like a wide pan shot and you got the the stadium lights and everything just feels so home like like you're at home like like this could be anyone's town kind of thing and i really appreciate cinema that can capture that so i i did like that aspect of it um to me this film just overall to me it's a mixed bag because there's there's things that i really love about it and there's just things that personally just didn't work for me not that they were bad i think this is one of those films that's going to resonate with its target audience way more than it could ever resonate with anybody else. I think un unless you are the target audience for this film, which if you are, this is going to be one of the best films you've ever seen in your life. It feels like one of those films that's just so personal to who it's made for. And um, I very much respect that. And I can only give praise to a film that uh, really sets out to be that because that's to be admired kind of thing. So that's what I got on all I saw the TV glow. Um, fantastic effort from Jane Schoenbrunn, and um, I, I really had a great time with it. I, I think I enjoyed and would rather watch uh, We Are All Going to the World's Fair more. I definitely think I related to that film a lot more, and um, it, it feels like a film, like that film definitely inspired the hell out of me. Uh, we Are All Going to the World's Fair is one that I need to talk about on the channel because that film inspired me a lot in its creative style like it's it's the way it was um, executed um, and this one too but um, like I said this one probably needs a lot more watches and uh, there's there's a lot of heavy-handed messaging in this film that really needs to be analyzed and studied and 
it's not a one-time watch kind of thing. It's not even a two-time watch. I think I need to give this one a little bit more. But uh, that's all I got on it, so um, I don't really have anything else to say about I Saw the TV Glow. Check it out for yourself if it sounds intriguing. Um, it's definitely entertaining. It's definitely... We need more cinema like this that takes risks and takes chances and does things differently that's not all the same bullshit all the time. And um, this film has a lot to say, so it's, it's a really powerful one. So go check it out if it sounds up your alley. Subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews. I'll be back with more soon, so stay tuned for those checkouts on the channel already. Stay tuned for what's coming. Until next review, have a good one, take care, and cheers.